It is that time of the week again. Yes, the poetic at a time. So, without further ado, I'm Loki's Witch, and I am reading a story from the poetic at a Today's story is a little bit of a long one, so bear with me if I have to pause every so often and deal with the need to drink something and deal with the dog. Best gift ever. Thank you, uh, Pega. This was our uh, Yule gift from him. Night, a nice deep coffee mug. And oddly enough, it's actually cocoa in there. Now let's shall we. Today, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this name, but I will type it in the description. The Taunting of Thor by Odin. It is on page 81 of this version of the Poetic Edda. Habernaj... Yeah. Literally, uh, literally the song, uh, Grey Beer Song. This is a really long, a relatively long poem in which Odin, in disguise of the ferryman, the Greybeard, deems Thor's passage on his, uh, denies Thor passage on his ferry. The two exchange heated words, um, that clearly compose in contrast of the two gods' deeds. Alternately and repetitively, offering ends to their uh, responses boats, which the question Half vont manter What were you doing uh, doing meanwhile? By Suzu 24 by the 24th, Greybeard has uh, more or less admitted he's Odin, and Thor seems to understand his true identity as well. Although he addressed Greybeard, um, he never addresses Greybeard as Odin. On the 26th, uh, there are some references to Thor's journey to meet Yogan Loki. Yogatha Loki, uh, told in the, um, Poetic Edda, in which Thor and his companions sleep uh, inside the glory of truth, huge uh, of the giant. Uh, the story appears in both the Codex, uh, Codex uh, reference and the manuscript AM 748 I42. The word 2, T O. The uh, the po uh, the promise index is original. So, yeah, that one was a. So let's get on to the insulting of father and son. Should be fun. Thor comes back from the east, and to come, go to Fo uh, Thor comes back from the east and comes to Fogjorn. On the other side of Fogjorn was a ferryman with his boat. Thor, uh, Thor calls out to him. Who is that man who stands on the other side of Fogjorn? The other man answers. Who is that man that calls across the water? Thor. Take me across the water. I will give you uh, some breakfast. I will carry your blankets on my back, and I, I find no better. F You'll find no better food. I eat in peace before I left home. I have some herring and goat, and I still am full from that. The ferryman says, "Your boat, um, you're boasting about your breakfast, uh, but you don't know if your homecoming will be glad. I think your mother is dead." Thor said, "You're telling me news that uh, would seem bad to anyone—that my mother is dead." 
And the ferryman. The ferryman says, You don't look like a man. You look like a good forms. You look like a, uh, your own good forms. There you stand, barefoot like a bergen. Not even a good pair of pants on you. Thor said, Row your boat here. I'll show you, uh, show you the uh, landing. Who owns the ship that you are on? The ferryman said, A man named Hungford asked me to run the ferry. A wise and prevalent man who lives in. Okay, I'm gonna butcher this, guys, and you've asked for it. Ruth Jones. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna finish butchering that. I'm sorry. He asked me to not uh, to not give rise to brigands or horse thieves. Uh, only good people, and thus I know well. Tell me your name, if uh, you want to cross the forge on. Oh, coffee. Thor said, tell me your name. I am no criminal. I am uh, from a good family. I am Odin's son, Meryl's brother, and Moji's father. Warrior of the gods, you talk to Thor here. Now I ask you turn, what is your name? Greybeard is my name. i rather lie about that. I rarely lie about that. Thor said, Why would anyone lie about that? Except a, a comment of a criminal. Greybeard said, Whether or not I've committed crime, I'll still uh, want to deny my life, uh, defend my life against people like you. <clears throat> Unless you, uh, you fetid day, your fetid days have come. Thor said, It seems like a shame for you to wind up there to get to you, uh, to get to you. There to get it uh, at to get at you, and get my pants wet, but I'll pay you back, sadly. For those nasty words, for uh, uh, those nasty words. If I get over the forge on. By the way, the forge on is a river. I'm pretty sure you guys picked that one up by now. I would hope so. Thor said, I... Greybeard, sorry. Said, I stand right here and wait for you. I think you'll be uh, a tough a, a tough an enemy uh, since... Uh, the tougher enemy since uh, Halgron. Thor said, You want to talk about uh, when I killed Horagron? The aggressive giant with the stone head. I no I knocked him down, laid him flat. Uh, what were you doing meanwhile, Greybeard? I think by now he's picking up it's Odin by this part because why would uh, somebody bring that up? Or why would he be asking? But hey, eh, we'll go with later on as story picks it up. I was with Fudja. For five years on an island called Argonal. We were raging war, killing warriors, uh, proving ourselves, and simply uh, and sampling the local ladies. Oh, did you man whore. Thor said, How did the ladies treat you? Greybeer says, We had girls who liked to kick, but some were more um, acted more docile. We had wise women too, and sometimes they were all local. Sometimes they were loyal. Some of them were wounded. Some treated for the valley, sent out of the sands. I made them all submit to my will. Mm. 
I slept with seven sisters. Had all, um, had all their charms to myself. What were you doing, meanwhile, Thor? So you just submitted to being a hoe. Great job, Odin. I was killing Tajma, the bold giant, uh, through the eyes of their sons of Alvanel, uh, into the clear skies. Those are the greatest moments of my uh, moments of my deeds, which everyone can see uh, even ever since. What were you doing meanwhile, Greybeard? Granting solace in the night, I ri I was rend uh, by women stole uh, stolen from their husbands. I was written by by women stolen from their husbands. I think uh, Halbion was a stone giant. He gave me mag a magic wand, and I enchanted away his wits. Thor said, you repaid him badly for his good gift? Greybeard, the, the trees has only the space it can crawl an, uh, another out of. Even man must look into himself. What are you doing, mean, what were you doing meanwhile, Thor? I was in the east fighting giants, evil women who lived in the mountains. There were so many more giants if they had all surround, uh, surrendered. They would have not been a single human left on Midgard. What were you doing, Greybeard? I was in the south making battles. I was turning princes against one another. I never make peace. Odin receives a powerful man who uh, receives powerful men who fall in battle, and Thor remains their um, receives their servants. Thor said, "You dealt victory and dealt uh, defeat unfairly. You have so much power over battle." Obviously, he knows this is his dad by now. You have plenty of strength, Thor, but no chal uh, but no courage, like the prince of the crown uh, cowards. You got uh, slapped in um, on with uh, on in the glove. You do not look much like uh, Thor. Uh, Thor, then um, you don't dare uh, sneeze or break wind. For fear that the giant Fragula may hear you. Greybeard, you sissy. I'll kill you. If I get a cross phone gone. How um, how are you going to get across? You have no transportation. What are you doing meanwhile, Thor? I have the great I have the east gradient of the river. With Salvia's sons attacks me. They throw stones at me um, by the little um, out of it. They end up begging for peace. What are you doing meanwhile, Greybeard? I was in the heath together with the crown lovely someone. I was enjoying myself with their beauties. For quite a while, actually. I showed the blonde uh, blonde a good time, and she showed me one as well. Thor, oh, you have a good-looking woman there. Greybeard, I could have uh, used your help, Thor. You could have helped me uh, hold the, the gorgeous girls down. Thor, oh, I would have helped you if I had been there. Greybeard, I would trust you about that if you had uh, had not tricked me before, Thor. I'm no hill better, no hill biter, 
No cheap old shoe with the sp in the springtime. Greybeard. What would you, uh, do meanwhile, Thor? Thor. Fight a basculus br the bas- Fighting the bastard- eh. Bastard brides. On the Isle Halash. They had done evil things. As assassinated everyone. Greybeard said. How shameful of you, Thor! Fighting women! Thor said. They were like wolves. Hardly women. They broke my ship when I landed ashore. Threatened me with iron rods. Chased my servant, uh, Thurgif. And then... <laughs> what were you doing meanwhile, Greybeard? I was with an army. We were coming the way, uh, that way. Um, waving some war banners, getting some blood, uh, spears bloody. Thor, you, uh, now you say you come, uh, you, uh, come to do God's evil? Uh, the God's evil. Rabier said, I've given you an arm ringing and, uh, to make up for it. Fear judge... Uh, uh, judges, uh, what said uh, is an equal value. Thor said. <clears throat> Thor, were you, uh, what did you learn to spite, uh, spit over all those hate, uh, spit out all these hateful words? I know I've never heard, uh, more, uh, uh on full, um, awful talk, Greybeard said. I learned this sort of talk from an old man who lived in a forest of my home. Forest for his home. Excuse the squeaking. He's having fun. Thor said, He gives a good, uh, You give a good name to baskets mol uh, molders if you call them a forest. A force for a home. Greybeard. That's how I talk about such things. Thor. I'll uh, reply you, repay you for your slander uh, with a good beating. If I can get across the Frogon, I think I'll howl uh, loud like uh, louder than the wolves if you feel, uh, feel my hammer on you. I'll think you'll howl louder than the wolves, if you feel my hammer on you. Greybeard said, Your wife has, lo uh, your wife has a lover, Thor. You've met him if you go home, or you'll meet him if you go home. Then you'll really suffer. Uh, that one's better, a better target for the hammer. Thor, you are just lying at random. Saying whatever uh, you, uh, will make me uh, most anger me, you cowardly fool! I think you're lying, Greybeard. I think you're telling—I'm uh, telling the truth. But your uh, late companion on your journey, you wouldn't get home for a long time, even if you walked all day and all night. Thor, Greybeard, you sissy. You're the one who has held me up, Greybeard. I don't think that Thor would let some. Uh, I don't think Thor would let some peasant hold him up on his journey. Thor, here's some advice: row uh, their boat over here. Um, row that boat over here to me. We'll stop the uh, this bickering, and you'll meet me face to face. Greybeard, far away from here, you don't get to get a ride from the ferry. Thor, then show me the way around if you're not going to take me across. Greybeard, I will not deny that request. It's a long walk. Go to the uh, tree trunk. There is a rock, and on the uh, on the left, uh, then turn left. Till you reach Midgard. Midgard. 
There your mother, the earth, will meet you, and she will show you the god's road to Asgard. Thor said, Can I get uh, there today? Greybeard, I suppose, if you travel hard. You could be there before sundown. Thor said, I see uh, that convinced Conference is o this conversation is over. Since you already answered answered with insults, I will pay you back for the delay if we ever meet again. Greybeard, go ahead. Have a bad journey. So, let's talk about this. <coughs> we all want to sit here and say Loki is the troll of the gods. How can we be certain of that when Odin trolls his own son? Odin obviously enjoys bantering and being just as nasty to his son as Loki does to other people. But Thor enjoys doing it back to people. The one thing I have noticed in quite a few things is they like to all insult each other. And it's kind of hilarious and refreshing at the same time. Um, but my take on it is Odin was just having too much fun being mean to his son and it's hilarious. Because you know, sometimes you just gotta troll your kids. And it's damn good entertainment if I might say so myself. Again, I will apologize for butchering words, stuttering, and all that fun stuff because you know dyslexic and I suck at pronouncing things um but I hope you guys all enjoyed that story of the poetic Edda um leave your comments down below may they be helpful may they just be that's awesome or whatever you want to put you can be mean and nasty all you want to me but if most of you notice I either just case string shots and reply with uh-huh whatever and as if it doesn't even bother me or I just thank you for your criticism so with that being said, I love you lots and blessed be.